the next question i think there are two sets of questions here and these two are uh, uh, antithetical to each other the first says what is your biggest disappointment of or, or your biggest failure and the second says what is your biggest success or your greatest uh, moment of joy uh, please understand when i ask you a question about your biggest disappointment i want to know firstly whether you have had any disappointment or not and we as human beings have our own fair share of failures and successes saying that you don't have any disappointment in your life just proves one thing that you are not a human being so definitely we all have our own ups and downs and and uh, here you are expected to share some of your downs with the panelists right so firstly there is nothing wrong in having failures and disappointments please understand so if you could not do well in your uh, in your 10th standard exam or in your 12th standard exam or you you could not win the first prize in a particular competition yes you have every right to be disappointed with yourself it could be your failure right and you should you should very honestly sincerely share it with the panelists saying that yes there was one moment of failure one 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 instance of failure in which i was really very much disappointed right and please understand more than the disappointment or the failure you must focus on the lessons that you learned from it please understand i don't want i am not so much interested in your disappointment or your failure as i am interested in knowing whether you learned any lesson from it or not so this is just one indirect way of asking whether did you learn anything from your disappointment or from your failure in life so you failed and you were disappointed but did it teach you something and if it did teach you something what lessons did you learn from it it's quite possible that uh, as a school kid you might or as a school kid or as a college boy you might have participated in some of the competitions right you it's quite possible you might have won the second prize the third prize you could not have come out as a topper right that could have been a disappointment right so please understand disappointment is not a tragedy people are people think that when it comes to disappointment i should mention something which has been tragic no don't say that uh, uh someone's uh, uh, death in, in uh, was a was, was a big disappointment say that it was a tragedy right so i don't ask about the trials and tribulations of life in which in which a fate inflicts injuries on you so so disappointments basically arises from some kind of failure and 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 from something in which you could not stand for your own self right so so uh, you must focus on on firstly what lessons you learned from that and secondly whether it helped you become a stronger and a better human being understand we all have our own fair share of ups and downs right but every up should make us humble and every down should make us a stronger and a better human being so in other words when they ask you what has been your biggest disappointment you can say that so not winning the first prize or losing out on this was my biggest disappointment but i learned many lessons from that and these are the lessons that i learned you must give some good answers don't just simply say yes your biggest disappointment was this full stop that's it you should go beyond that and try to explain and try to give more than what has been asked right the next question is what has what has been your biggest success or your greatest moment of joy again it's not necessary that your biggest success has to be at the international level or the national level you can have your own biggest success at a very small level right so you can say that organizing a competition uh, or organizing a blood don blood donation camp was the biggest success of your life right you can say my biggest success was uh, when uh, when and i attempted something all on my own and and i was successful at it right so we all have our own our own definition of success and failure please understand so when they say that what was your biggest success they are not asking about your achievement your achievement could be at the highest level so when you say about your achievement it could be something at the national or state level or in which something you have won a prize a success on the other hand could be something very ordinary something in which in which uh, you secretly or you without the knowledge of others you gave your best and you did well in it right so success has nothing to do with achievement <coughs> in your own way you could be 
successful in something right and that could be your greatest moment of joy so please look at the points here it says that success or joy that success or joy could be from any walk of life please understand it could be academic it could be non-academic it could be personal it could be social it could be anything you can say that uh, i was not well for one month and i went and cleared all my engineering papers that was the biggest success of course when you are not well and you have been bedridden for almost one month and still if you go and get 75 percentage i think that 75 percentage is far far greater in importance than 90 percentage of a guy of a person who is was who was healthy and fine right so please understand success has nothing to do with i mean if you are going against the odds and you do well i think that is success but it must have a high degree of gravity to it. What is high degree of gravity? You shouldn't say that uh, uh, the greatest moment of success was uh, when you reached home all on your own without your parents' help. I mean, that is not success, right? So your success must have a high degree of gravity to it. So if you were bedridden for one month and still you appeared for all the papers and you scored 60 percentage, I think it has a gravity to it, right? Again, instead of focusing just on the success, you must talk about the qualities, the circumstances and people around that around you that became the success, that became the cause of that success. Many a time, it is not we alone who play a part in our own success. There are many, many other people, right? Your own friends, your parents, your teachers, they might play a very important role. And, and I think you should share that with your panelists. You should say that I owe my success to my teachers, to my friends. Why? Because without them, I think my success would not have been a great success so here again you have a chance of expressing your humility or, or showing it to the panelists that you are a very humble person you give credit to others for your own success right so when it comes to disappointments please don't be shy or don't refrain from sharing it when it comes to success doesn't matter how uh, how ordinary it might look but if it is having a degree of gravity to it you should go ahead and